Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Yeah. It's Big Porky here, and guess who we've got in the house here at the Corner Pocket in Maxwood, Doncaster. That's right, Ross the Boss, aka Ross Birkinshaw, Commonwealth Champion, European Champion WBO, and uh, fantastic fighter. How did you get involved in boxing, Ross? How did you first get involved? Look how small I am. So everyone used to chat picking up me at school. I'd yeah. like a scrap. So I'd go. I'd go so to that. And then my dad said to me, listen, you're getting in a bit of trouble. This is a junior school place. Yeah. So why don't you learn to do it properly? So boxing, he took me to Jiu-Jitsu first. Did a bit of that. At the end of every session, I used to spar. I got better at that. So he took me to Ray Gillard's gym. We were at 393 Club, all deals with boys, started boxing with him. I fetched him on today with me to Xboxes. Yeah. And uh, that's where it all began. Yeah. Then when I was 10 year old, his gym closed. So I went down to Glen Road, Sheffield Boxing Centre, another character boxing here today. Yeah, yeah. And you started with Glen Road then as an amateur. As an amateur. And how long were you with Glen? Uh, I stayed with Glen for 17 years. Uh, but in between, I boxed for Army. I joined Army when I was 16 and 9 months. And um, I eventually, well, I did all my basic training, got to the battalion in Cyprus with two LI, second battalion light infantry. And then um, from that, I, um, I said, listen, I can pay you. And I'm like, I'm like that big then. Yeah. Like, serious. So I went for a trial with battalion, pissed all over. Flew me to England, had the trial with army boxing team, and they took number one spot. And then I became champion. Champion at Army, Navy and RAF, Combined Service Champion. Uh, and, and who did you turn pro with? Glyn Rhodes. Glyn Rhodes. He's the trainer, manager. Yeah. Frank Maloney, what's well, now Kelly Maloney, the big promoter. Uh, had a good few years with Glyn. 2013 I left Glyn and went with Ryan Rhodes as my trainer. Dennis Hobson as my manager and promoter. And from, with Glyn I won English title uh, 2009 on St George's Day. Uh, in London in capital, so I became champion in England in the capital of England, so that were a proud day for me. Uh, Glenn and Matt Lowe were in my corner then. Then, like I said, I left Glenn, went with Ryan Rhodes, went on to win a Commonwealth title, four days notice, from St Jason Cunningham. Uh, then Dennis got me a crack at uh, WBO European, I beat Benjamin Smalls in first round. Then uh, later on, Dennis is like a wizard, but, uh, managed to get me a crack at WBO Intercontinental. He got us a deal with Spy TV, so we made history. Spy TV had come over from America, I was the first headlining show uh, to box on that. But unfortunately, a week before, I'd been sparring with Paul Butler. Uh, and obviously Paul's a big body puncher. Caught me on my elbow, that really, really hurt my elbow, but I didn't want to tell anybody. Because he was a big fan, so a lot of tickets. Went into the fight, doing alright at first, the boxer kick up class on Bayonne. And I was doing alright, I should have just kept him long. Because I was having a bit of a lack of tear up, and a bit of tear up, boom, he caught me on my elbow. Same thing. Went back to the corner and says to Ryan, I said, my elbow's done. Dennis came on saying, why aren't you jabbing? I said, I've done my elbow, so I pulled me out of the fight. So I should be boxing again the following November. And I was sparring Gavin McDonald. Um, from body shot, I bent down, as I threw it over, boom, arm popped out. In my career, it came out five times, but this time, I've got a titanium screw in it, touching the nerve. So, I'm done, I'm not boxing again. And the surgeon said to me, time to call it a day. So, that's why I'm here today at Xboxers Association. All right, so you're an Xbox now. And what are you doing with yourself nowadays, Ross, then? Jim at Hansworth. Um, well, what's it called? Boss Box Fit. Boss Box Fit at Hansworth in Sheffield. Yeah, 153 Richmond Park Road. Concentrate on box size. Fitness, one to one. So I'll, I'll get odd pro come to me for a one to one amateurs. So I, I still do that, but I don't want to do no amateurs or professionals. I want to just keep it as that. I've had my career. I just want to enjoy boxing, watching boxing, guys. Not having to go every weekend. Right, well, listen, all the best for Thank your you. future, Ross, and uh, all the best with your new girlfriend as well. Oh, you take care, mate. Cheers, pal. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Pork here. And I've got with me. The Sheffield lad, yeah, John Buster Keaton. How are you doing, John? Sound. 
Yeah. What are you doing with yourself these days? Yeah, I'm still working, still working for uh, Open Reach, like yeah. BT. Oh, BT. Yeah. Cab like pulling out cables in, you know, fiber cables and, and, and copper cables and stuff like that. Enjoying it? Not really. <laughs> what made you get into boxing, John? Um, a cruiserweight, weren't you? Yeah, yeah we're cru okay. uh, started off at light heavyweight, but even even had fights in super middle. Um, my friend at school, Tom Tom Bradley, um, his, his his brother Nigel Bradley, they were, they were about to turn pro. Um, they were they were decent fighters. That he Gym, and I went along with them, with, with Thomas, yeah. and just um, took it up from there. Yeah. And it were, it were Ni Nigel and Tom Bradley who, um, who, who got me into it, really. I, I'd always been wanting to go yeah, boxing. Yeah. I used to go to a little club called Richmond ABC, yeah. even before that. Uh, but I never, I never stuck at it till I got to Brendan's. You so. boxed my uh, childhood friend, didn't you, John Anthony? Jo no, I never boxed oh, John. You no. you, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I met John, it was uh, 2009. Yeah. Um, when, when I actually retired um, after that fight, after them fights that were a prize fighter, yeah. with a prize fighter, and John came down as a, um, he came down as a standing, oh, yeah. and, and we got on so good, so well like but that that was the first time I've ever met. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got right right to the final. I boxed me uh, nemesis uh, Bruce Scott uh, and, and it was um, I boxed him uh, three times and that time I beat him. But it put me in Aspical the, the the past two fights. Yeah 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 because John when he started out he were a decathlete right he turned to boxing yeah yeah. Early 20s. Right, yeah. You were amateur till you were probably 26 or something. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, so you're working for Open Reach tonight. Yeah, yeah. Still I still I'm still involved with him. I still go up yeah. like now and again. I'm I'm like personal friends with Dominic King on my old yeah. trainer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously Brendan passed away, God bless him. Yeah. Uh, but I'm I'm you know it's my home that I yeah. I always keep going there. What do you think to heavyweight scene at the moment? Uh, who do you believe who's talking who? Do you think it's a mess, John? I, 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 I think Tyson Fury's the man, yeah, to, yeah. to be honest. I think uh, there's a lot of hype um, with everything. I think we've been told, like like the public have been told, yeah. you know, a lot of, a lot of lies just to make the money. Yeah. But I think the real deal is Tyson Fury. I think he will he, he'll, he'll come through as like a... Um, an alley character where there's everybody like seem to hate him and I think they'll it'll come through as every it'll be a household name where everybody loves him. Yeah. Yeah, the sim similar kind of story. Um, uh, everybody, like, oh, that Tyson Fury, that blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think it'll become the household name and, and everybody will be like, I think he's, you know, one of the, one of the days. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, do you think he beats Joshua in the fight, man? Yeah, I think he does. I think, I think, rounds, yeah. I think, I'm, yeah, I think AJ is, is uh, boxing's needed him and everybody's looking up to him. But he looks apart, he's got everything. So but, right things. but back in back in my day it, 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 we had Bruno and I think in a way he's a bit Bruno-esque. Mm. If you know what I mean. He's got the physique, he's got he's got the looks. But I just think when it comes down to boxing over distance, I don't think he's got the stamina and I don't think his his physique's He's not relaxed enough yeah. to get through, you know, he's got the power to put a horse to sleep, but I think the, the full package is Tyson Fury, I think, in my opinion. Well, you know, listen, it's been a pleasure talking to you, John. Thank and you. All the best to you and your family for the future. Thank you very much. All the best. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Who's playing? How are you, Looking at me, and it gets in the ring after I hit his grandfather at the belly. Do you remember Jimmy? Jimmy, um... Jimmy Joe. Not doing bad, man. Yeah, Jimmy Joe. Right? All right.
Nice to see you. So, the story was... Uh, it's nice Gary to see Dixie, old people. Uh, old people. I'm a game all the time. It's nice to see the... We all know what happened. Boxers. Um, he puts me down. Ex-boxers. And he... You know, Talk about out. old times. Now, there's two things to that. Boxer. I shouldn't have done the boxing suit. Well, uh, a lot bigger than I am now, actually. Yeah, but it goes back to 1940. Uh, it's the well, film. So it didn't really matter. I'm not trying to say it's the film. I don't feel bad about it. But as you see... So I've got a... I don't not that many amateur fights and so uh, the only thing uh, on the downside to that experience is and, uh, that I'm the only boxer ever to be knocked out by fucking spell. Well, yeah, no. So. Uh, yeah, it's, and, it's my claim to fame. I've been here tonight, and, and all the boxers I've been either. with, they also remember they, were, also, they got beat with. I went to the same schools, not all the one, and luckily, I went to the same you I'm so smart. But I am the only who boxer the who remembers me being out of the game. He was a year older than me. <laughs> and also in my school, there was a lad <laughs> who, um, <laughs> I think, was about seven. Why eight would years you ago, ask me that, Ross? <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. And his name was Billy Lincoln. No, that heavyweight well. boxing is the so biggest name. That's what you realised then. Uh, there was nothing down for me. Because, you know, the school... There are a lot of great fighters here, Little White. Uh, anyway, we've all got our stories to tell. Uh, uh, thank God we're here to tell. Probably a lot better boxers, so but heavyweight so people want to see. It's exciting. Can we, what are we doing next? Brian, what are we doing next? Brian. Uh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been, yeah, seen it and watched it, and uh, I'm fortunate, like, plus my lad does it, and I've seen. I'm just going to change the matches. Uh, and Tyson Fury, it's deceiving what you watch, and yeah, unbelievable boxing. That's his been, Yeah, they're both world champions. Anthony's a lovely kid, and the thing is, is uh, uh, dedication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think a lot of boxers these days are not dedicated? Oh, God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, talking to the ex-boxers, it's the, the weight what they're doing now, it's unbelievable. And every, you just mentioned about heavyweight boxing, but you're leading me astray now. It's the, <laughs> that the, way, it's the weight what they're doing. And, uh, you mean the losing, the weight they're losing? Right? Yeah, yeah, that when they're going... Uh, the amount of weight they put on it, it's unbelievable. Yul Banks is a great fighter, but the weight, how he, the, he must be getting a lot of weight away. What do you think to the middleweight? Middleweight? Uh, you've got me there. <laughs> I don't, I don't really, I'm not saying I don't really follow it now. But, uh, not as I like to go and watch it and things, but it's like talking to boxing, old time boxing. They, they, every generation since they were better. They, these kids are a lot faster, dedicated, probably more. The, the lifetime, but what they learn, old time boxing, the tricks and in fighting and everything, it's probably not going to die out. I'm going to see Buster Keaton, though I've never talked like to him. Because, uh, well, 72 actually, I've got a phone call. You know, things, been a it's great to see people, Duff, how, uh, right? how they can fight, even Just though. It's uh, right. For Mickey Duff. People survive how they fight. In the council buildings in Bethnal Green. And, um, and, I'll, I know you've not it was well, December. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah and, uh, people say you look well, but I it's... Uh, fuck, but I knew it was Mickey Duff because it was a reverse charge call, sorry? See, I know what was like. So, yeah, yeah. I picked the phone up and all these guys, John H, John H, he said, John you H, you've got something for Can you. Can I swear said, on your phone? He said, right. <laughs> he said, yeah. no, 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 nobody gives a fuck. Shh. And the thing is, what's happening today? It's like boxing, boxing. The, the, the thing of, the, of not a street like modern day boxing. It's, the, it's also been a game of putting bums on seats. America, in Las uh, heavyweight boxing, Hilton going Hotel back to heavyweight. Like, it's a, it's, a, uh, it's also been a business. But the thing is, all these people have come here. Oh, got in the ring, and, and, and then I've sort of said, "How much?" 
much. You have great respect. And he said 12 hundred. I said, fuck me, it's not what I'm going to give you. I mean, I'd have paid him to go out. Yeah, you know, anybody who thinks it's boxing's an easy game. Anyway, um, yeah. also on the same bill was a certain and they've, young man. And they've shown respect John because Conti. they've come here. And we went over to campfire. America. Yeah. To anybody to get in the ring and think, and I think the, uh, it's easy. The, the thing about, as I say, modern day boxing, it's always been pubs on seats. I went to Barnes the other day, just where I felt boxer. sorry for. Obviously, we want to win the at Barnes. But if, if I hadn't, there were more anything, people watch the woman fight. What then was, we get to uh, uh, Caesar's yeah. Palace, yeah. And, it's, and that's where we're trying to Caesar's yeah. Palace. Now, and it always has been. been. It's but, uh, we had 3,000 people watching us for Caesar's Palace just training. Said for, uh, now, can you imagine? We'd never. Shh. Yeah, well, luckily, I'm not a great fighter, but I've always I mean, listened to people. You sometimes see, like, you're uh, always old. Been arrogant, know people. it all. So it I have you respect for these people, people that like coming here today. And, and it was amazing uh, because, show me from respect. my point of view, I couldn't um, believe they, that I got into the boxing uh, ring training. Yeah, David. And Muhammad Ali was yeah. doing his little bit. You've got to sell yourself. But he can't fight, and anybody thinks he can't. And as I walked in, he stood he, over the road. For a show. <laughs> and he was talking to the crowd and talking to the press and everything. And he just kept pointing to Joe Bugner. No, I don't. Going, you know, what I'm going to do to him, no. I'm going to jab him, and, 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 and all that, as, as you know, Muhammad Ali did. So I went over to him, and I tapped him on the arm to yeah, well. say, Just because you lifted Hi, because that's, as you know, when you get in the gym, no, no, no. When you and get these, these people the ring, like, you yeah. Say to it's, you know, I, I, right, as I say, respect because they go in the ring, so they don't do it on the street. And a lot of them think the. So it's just, like, you know, doing uh, again, just be down to Clinton Woods, again, big fella, having a joke. So and they want to pick on him because he's a big bloke, but they don't really. They want to pick on Mark Epton because he's a little bloke. From the ropes, obviously doing shadow boxing, and he's gone like that. And as he's done, he's doing all right. All the best. Cheers, mate. Thank you. And I went down like that, and I almost collapsed, and he's grabbed me.